are you struggling with your imaginal acts, your visualization, scripting, whatever technique that you might be using to try and impress your unconscious mind, to try and reprogram yourself into becoming the person that has this desire now? Do you feel like you're a bit of a, an imposter? I know um, I've had a couple of people mention this and someone had mentioned it in my comments as well about how to deal with this imposter syndrome that we get when we've got a desire and we're doing these techniques, we're trying to believe that we have this desire now, but it just doesn't seem to sit right. I'm gonna share with you in this video how to overcome this and what to do. <laughs> so stay tuned, I'm Athena Raven, I'm a mental health and manifestation life coach, here to hopefully help inspire and empower you guys with the law of assumption, Neville's teachings, and my own experiences as well as that of my clients. So if you do enjoy the content, really appreciate you guys liking and subscribing, helping this algorithm to boost this channel so we can get the message out there to more people who might be in need of help and support. And I love and appreciate all of you for being here and for supporting me through this journey as well. So thank you very much. Now, sit and relax. Let's relax a moment because the thing is, when a lot of us come into this community, as you know, every single one of you right now has a desire that you wish to be realized. Every single one of you right now is in a certain state of lack in some ways. It depends where you are in your journey. Some of you are further along in your journey than others. Some of you are at the very beginning. And particularly for those of you who are at the very start of your journey, it's a really difficult time. And I know from experience, like I say, nearly 20 years or 20 years now, I'm losing track of time, of doing this, since I discovered Neville's teachings, you can imagine how many things I desired to have appear in my 3D reality, how many things that I wanted and back then was wishing for and hoping for and in that real state of desperation and Unfortunately, when a lot of us discover um, these laws, these universal laws, whether it's law of attraction, law of assumption, either way, we come into it with this state of desperation, neediness. We really need and want for something to happen. And a lot of you have gone through some sort of major upheaval in your life from a great financial loss maybe that is just making you desperately in need of I need to turn this around and I need to manifest money or those of you who have gone through some sort of heartbreak and you're desperately trying to manifest this SP back into your life and I've done this numerous times I've done financial manifestations I've done uh, numerous SP manifestations over 20 years my house my car um, health as well, various things. And I know what it's like when you're starting off and particularly if this is your first time doing this particular manifestation, but I can tell you from experience that even though, even though I have manifested, say for example, numerous SPs, can I say that it gets easier each time? <laughs> um, not always, not always. I have a backlog of, um, what's the word, evidence, I don't know why I'm laughing, <laughs> you start laughing and it's just like I can't stop, um, uh, but I have this backlog of experience obviously that proves to me that this works and how this works and I've shared with you a couple of experiences, how my bridge unfolded and what I did, how I manifested my SP, how I get SPs to conform, various things like that. And I've done a guided hypnosis as well for those of you who are wanting to get into that state of the wish fulfilled. So it's in my guided uh, techniques playlist. If you haven't checked it out, if you are struggling and you want um, some guided help using hypnotic language to get you there to make it more vibrant and vivid, then give that a try too because we're coming at it from such a state of perhaps angst or sadness or some really strong emotions for some of you and even for those of you who have been doing this for a while, maybe even more so for those of you who have been doing this for a while, because you're probably feeling like you're stuck in this loop. You're probably looking around for 3D validation. You're probably saying to yourself, I've been doing this, I've been manifesting for this outcome and that outcome for the last year, for the last two years, for the last five years. Why aren't I seeing anything? Is this the bridge? It's taking a long time. I'm feeling like I'm giving up. And because we come of it we come from it with such desperation we go into the technique with that wrong mindset i have explained this before and just to clarify for those of you who, who might not have seen my previous videos for example 
You see, the whole point of this is not to go into the mindset, number one, first up, to avoid this imposter syndrome, for example, and this detachment. You've got to go into it with the mindset of, I'm not going into the imaginal act to get this outcome. I know that that is the ideal. Obviously, this is why we're spurred to do these techniques, right? But it's not why we do them. And it's not the correct mindset to go into. Because if you do go into it with that mindset, you do tend to stay into lack a bit longer. I have been guilty of this numerous times. And when I was first on my journey as well, it was that whole this sounds magical, this sounds amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm scripting it and I'm doing my imagination and when am I gonna see it? Because the whole time we do it like that, we will be tethered to the 3D reality because we're doing it to change our 3D reality. We're doing the technique to make them conform. We're doing the techniques to bring in that money. And of course, you're gonna be tempted to check. And of course, you're gonna be wondering why hasn't it happened yet? And of course, you're going to be filling yourself with more and more angst as days, weeks, months pass by and you still don't see anything desirable. It's because we're doing it with the mindset to make something change. So of course we're expecting and then we're waiting for change. The ideal mindset is to go into it with, I have this desire, this desire didn't magic out of thin air. This desire is something that my inner being, my higher self has ascertained in some way, has <laughs> just picked up, has, has chosen as a reality that already exists now. This is a reality that exists, exists now. 4D version of us, higher being version of us, our God self, source, whatever you call it, knows that this is a possibility. Not that this is a possibility, this is an actuality. Sorry, that's what I should say. This is an actuality. This is a reality. And we can access it, our imagination can access it, our higher self is limitless and so is our imagination as a result of that. And we can access it internally and we can give ourselves the feeling of fulfillment internally right here, right now, because all we have is this present moment, the eternal present. When you're remembering the past and living out the past again, it's still in the present moment. Even when you're living out the future, you're collapsing time and space and you're bringing everything into the present now. And so you want to focus on what your ideal outcome would be. Okay, I have this desire, I have this burning desire. That means it's a reality. My higher self knows this. So I accept this. And now it's time for me to experience it because that is the way that I accept it. Remember, um, whatsoever you desire, pray as though you have received it and you shall. It's not oh, whatsoever you desire, except for this, except for that, except if you've got these blockers in the way. No, whatsoever, it just is limitless. The possibilities are limitless. There's no point in having a desire if we cannot um, bring it into fruition, if we cannot experience it, whatsoever you desire. Okay, so believe I've received it. The best way to do that for me personally has been to go into my imaginal act. And you can use various techniques for this, because some of you I know struggle with visualization. I do too sometimes. For example, if it's an SP that I haven't seen for a while, maybe kind of hazy about what they look like. Well, okay, if I can't visualize it, but usually I will visualize the scene and I will use as many of my five senses as I possibly can to really make this a real experience. Shut off my mind and uh, body, still my body and go into this scene and fully immerse myself and saturate myself in it, bath myself in it until I really capture this feeling in first person, by the way, that's so important. I was just talking with a client earlier and she didn't realize actually it was an unconscious thing that maybe many of you are doing. You'll think of your desire, you'll think of your imaginal act. You might be putting yourself through it in third person, looking at it, but it's so important for you to subject yourself to it. And when I guided her through it, she said the difference was like night and day, the experience that she had from imagining, you know, thinking of it and imagining it in third person, as opposed to when we put herself through the experience, the emotions were just so much more heightened. It was so much more, um, she was able to fully accept the desire and, it means that your manifestation will come through more accurately rather than you're manifesting it for someone else or you're 
you're kind of manifesting, but it's still over there. And so you start seeing other people maybe getting married or having babies or whatever it is your desire is. And it's still not happening to you and you're still the observer. You don't want to be the observer of your desire. You want to be experiencing it. So you put yourself through it. Okay. Capture that feeling. That's the feeling and the mood that I've got to capture, uh, capture and keep with me. Now, at first, it might feel a little bit... Um, fake and uncomfortable it depends how it depends how deeply you go into it so you've gone into it with your imagination and if you can't see it then you're hearing it maybe you're hearing your friend congratulating you you're doing the telephone technique you're hearing their voice just praising you for receiving this outcome you're showing gratitude maybe you're scripting it as well like I say do whatever technique really works for you it's about evoking this emotion it's about feeling it to be real it's about having the experience and giving yourself the feeling now we're not waiting for SP to come back to give us the feeling we're not waiting for the money to come in to make us feel financially abundant and, and stable where we have the power to give ourselves that feeling now and that's what we're doing that's the reason for the technique so if you go into it with that mindset you'll be less likely to go into this imposter mode. Plus, secondly, remembering that imagination is what creates reality here. I know a lot of the time we're told about, oh, if you use your imagination, and it, there can sometimes be negative connotations to someone who is all the time living in their imagination. We're not being delusional here. And this isn't about um, the, the, this whole, uh, what do you call it, like um, trend, that's it, this trend of like, be delulu, Pretend you've got your SP there, you know, I'm going to put my arm around you, darling, and how are you doing? And let me let me set an extra place at the dinner table for us. And maybe some people have manifested this way. I never have. That, again, just seems to keep you in a state of lack. We're not being delusional. And it's not about pretending. It's about really immersing yourself internally and having the experience. And it might take some practice and determination, perseverance in the first instance because you are coming at it from a state of lack. If you're new to this journey, it might feel a bit foreign to you. And also keep in mind, we're not doing it to get something, we're doing it to give ourselves the feeling now so that we feel fulfilled within and then everything else is reflected out. And then secondly is to remember as well that it's the imagination that creates reality. There is nothing in your world that wasn't first created in imagination, in someone's imagination, the house you live in, the chair you were sitting in, the pillows and the even my painting in the background. I had to imagine this and think this up and draw this up before I created it. So your imagination creates your reality. Your inner being, your higher self, knows how to achieve this goal. We really have to relinquish to this inner self, to this higher being. We have been too plugged into the 3D. We have been conditioned all of our lives to believe that it's a negative thing to have an active imagination and to daydream. You're, you're a dreamer, you know, and you put people down for that reason. But this is our power. We've been repressed for so long and conditioned. So it will take some perseverance for some of you. It will also take, number three, a bit of testing with different scenes as well. Many's the time that I've had a desire and I have sat down and I have thought about it and then I have imagined it. And maybe I heard the conversation with my friend. Hang on, that doesn't quite capture the feeling. Okay, let me imagine and visualize this scene and yeah, we're together and stuff. Maybe they're, pro mm, actually, no, that doesn't feel right either. And so have fun with this. Be explorative. Is that the word? <laughs> but play around with it. Explore. Use your imagination. Try out different scenes. Script them first. See which one sits and resonates with you most. What feels most natural? You see, that is the key word here. Natural. Naturalness is what we are looking for. Because as soon as we keep on wearing this mood and holding this mood within, Till it gets to the point that it does feel natural, till it does feel um, it does feel like second nature to us, we feel less like an imposter. So then our dreams will be realized and will be reflected out onto the 3D reality. That's just how it works. Test it for yourself with other manifestations too, so you can keep on building your faith with this. Um, practice building your imaginative muscle as well on other desires. Don't just fixate on one thing. 
keep on building it up, play around with different scenes, script it out until you find the scene that just feels right. You find the scene that perhaps brings a little smile to your face as you're playing it out in your mind. You find the scene that just makes you feel good and generally the wish fulfilled state is that of relief, release, content. I've experienced that, my clients experience that too. I always ask them how they feel, especially when we do it guided together or through hypnosis. That's how they feel, it's just relief. It's not bouncing off the walls excitement normally because it's no, imagine if you had your wish fulfilled now. Imagine if you were at that very end state where you're already in a loving, committed relationship living together. Imagine if you looked at your bank balance and you could just see money coming in, that end result of, wow, I've got that much sitting in the bank right now. I feel so, I can just relax and release. I don't have to worry. That's, that tends to be the general feeling of the wish fulfilled state. And like with anything, as Neville said, when you're first wearing this state, this new state, this new mood, you're occupying this new state of mind, it will feel uncomfortable to you. It will feel no different to, as he had stated, wearing a new suit. And you're kind of wondering if everyone else is looking at you thinking, oh, they're wearing a new suit. And it needs to be worn in a bit, just like shoes. You put on a new pair of shoes. It doesn't feel like part of you at first. It doesn't feel comfortable at first. But once you keep on wearing it, especially if you're wearing it every day at first, you wear them in, they become comfortable. They just become a part of you. You're not even thinking about it anymore. And that is what you're trying to achieve. So it needs a bit of that persistence and it needs a bit, and it needs a good scene. That, so experiment and find a good scene that gives you that correct feeling of naturalness. Keep on with it, capture it regularly, and also go into it with the right mindset, knowing that your imagination creates reality, knowing that we're not doing this to get something, we're doing this to give ourselves the feeling now and to have the experience now. And that really helps you to get out of lack, to detach from the 3D, to go within yourself and connect with your inner self more, until it is projected out in this screen of space. So I really hope that this helps you. For those of you who are struggling, who feel like a bit of an imposter, this feels really uncomfortable to me. I really hope that this uh, video gave you all the information that you needed. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on as well. I'm sending you guys all the love in the world and thank you as always for your support. I'll see you in the next video.